everybody it's la muchacha morena came coming back to you i am totally disgusted feeling some kind of way do not go to the um red roof in lafayette um louisiana in the first room i think i videoed Okay, so this room is at the what is this red roof in? It's not as, as luxurious as it looks on the picture. Um, it has two beds. That one has a spot right there. We're gonna have to call out that one. Two beds. Um, TV. Little area, little desk area. It's actually kind of small. It's much smaller than the one from the Best Western. Um, that's a cute little vanity area, but that's it. Microwave and TV. I mean, microwave and refridge. Refridge is really small. And it's directly in front of the freaking bathroom. That sucks. So anyway, the bathroom is little. It's not um the size of the other one at all but it's okay because i mean like we're traveling and if we can find some decent accommodations then we're good if not you know we're gonna have to call about this spot to in this cover though because i'm not trying to catch nothing from nobody's did they just fall okay something else was right there i don't know but anyway and i went down and was like no this is unacceptable no, 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 no. To the front desk, right? At first, the lady was kind of like, what? When I was like, um, the accommodations aren't acceptable. The rooms are nasty. The room is nasty. Um, um, the, the bedding is nasty. And I'm definitely not going to stay in a room where you already showing me the bedding is nasty. Are you kidding me? No. Like, what I'm expecting next? Chinches? Then when another couple of more people came in she was like oh it's okay i'll just move you to the next room we go like change room she changes to the room next door we go in that room okay it's cold we get in this room look like somebody got killed in this room this is like blood or something on the freaking door. And I'm just pissed off by this point. I'm just like, if the bed is clean, let's just stay. Don't touch nothing. Let's go. Because we got to hit the road in the morning and be out of here. And so we go like um, to touch the phone. The phone looked like it had straight cooties. I don't know what in the world was on the phone. But it was full of cooties. Like... So then we move the phone. It was like a little, little table. A little table, miniature, miniature, miniature table. <laughs> and in the that can just hold a. It, the only thing it can hold is the table and um, <coughs> a non-working um, alarm clock. phone didn't work in either room either room the phones didn't work and I'm telling you the best Western did such a better job at budget pricing a nice hotel room than Red Roof Inn like I, I don't know in my mind I thought Red Roof Inn was a nice place to go that's what I thought like not in Louisiana not in Louisiana it was so much dust in that room that everybody woke up Especially the cookie monster back there woke up sneezing coughing sneezing sneezing coughing coughing It was it was horrible and my nose has been running when we first got there Jeez the lady like um This was kind of tripping me out the front desk Yeah, but the front desk lady she's like um you you saw um an ad for the room I said, yeah, I saw an ad for the room tonight. Um, it's on. It's a tonight special or something like that for fifty, uh, fifty-three dollars, I think. Fifty-three dollars. She goes, 
oh well you're gonna have to book it online or you can't get the um room because the rate here is sixty dollars okay now this is not my first day at a hotel you know normally they try to match whatever you find online if you find it online and you show it to them you okay then and they say okay and they match it fine. okay fine fine so I stand right there in front of her. I'm getting ready to do the booking online. So I was on booking.com. It just reserves the room for you. That was great. So it reserved the room, but I couldn't reserve, I couldn't really reserve the room. I couldn't really reserve the room because I had went back and forth a couple of times to make sure we got the right room because Miss Lady at the front desk was more than confusing about which rooms had the regular um, double beds or full beds or I'm like what's the difference with the double bed and the full bed oh they're the same thing they just don't have a microwave or a fridge I said okay so but when I click on the one that says two double beds and um, none smoking it shows a picture of a two double beds and a fridge and a microwave and she's like oh but well, that's our deluxe double Okay, fine, lady. We're going to pick the deluxe double. So, by that time, I had actually selected three rooms. And for some reason, Booking.com wouldn't let me just remove it right off. I had to go all the way through almost to the end before I could remove the rooms off. So, then all of a sudden, she goes, okay, well, I'll just give it to you for that amount. How much did you say it was? And I'm like, 53 Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and give it to you for $53. Well, that's what you should have did to start with. Like... Then, then, then have us standing there all of that time trying to book a room through booking.com. I can make sure you get the room for the same rate. Oh. Oh, you could do that now? Oh, okay. That's weird, but I mean, you we, we probably could have saved how many minutes standing up here? I'm just, I'm just so beside myself with, with customer service these days. I like I used to be a customer service trainer and, and for years and years and years and I look at customer service now like what the heck is wrong with people that you feel like this is okay when we came in the door and we said there is a uh, tonight special today's special whatever for this room this particular room here at this particular hotel for fifty three dollars you should have been able to say okay fine we match that in the end that's what you ended up doing in the end. We can deal with it. Let's just deal with it and get out of here. It was cold as freak though. They got this system set up where, okay, you don't touch it over here on the wall. Like they got a new one. We're going to touch it over here, the radiator one. You touch it over here and then it's going to automatically beam itself throughout the room. You're not going to hear it or what did they say? You're not going to hear it or, or feel it right away but it's going to warm the room up. So the room didn't get warm until the wee hours in the morning, like literally three before the room warmed up. And we're in there at nine and 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And the room didn't get warm to two, two something in the morning. Oh my God. Oh, well, do you want us to show you how to work the um heat? No, we read the instructions. It's just that it didn't work in a timely fashion. I mean, like when you're cold, you want to warm up right away. You don't want to wait four hours to warm up. Like, are you serious right now? <sighs> so anyway, <laughs> I'm just so totally disgusted with them. Can you tell I'm disgusted? I'm disgusted with them. Do not go there. This little space was so small that two of us could barely fit between uh, the Wi-Fi at the hotel was so slow so I couldn't update any I couldn't upload any videos from that from yesterday because the Wi-Fi they give you free Wi-Fi but they give you the Wi-Fi that I don't know you can't even really you know do what you need to do on it <coughs> anyway such is life all I wanted was a hot bath and for us to get up out of here. And that's what we did this morning. So, 
we're back on the road now we're in louisiana we're on our way out of this state um but i did want to say that this is a absolute five thumbs down review of the red roof and university north university drive on in 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 lafayette louisiana this is the absolute bad review of their service of their accommodations of the whole the whole spiel so don't fool with I think that's it talk to you later adios these roads though i mean louisiana do something about your roads your roads are terrible